Yeah. Well, Ryan, this. that's a tough uh, racket. I give you this here. Putting me right next to the, uh, right behind the world leader of uh, hard drive technology and then the world leading personal computer manufacturer. So I guess it's going to go downhill, downhill from here. Um, I want to talk to you about something different. I want to talk to you about what I'm here for and I think what most of you are here for. My name is Michael Thiel. Um, I'm a German. I started IC Intracom in 1987 in Germany. We're today headquartered in Tampa, Florida. We're not a billion dollar company. We're a hundred million dollar company. We sell our products in about 60 countries. Um, we focus on not what we call non-hardware products, but not software. We focus on those products where distributors actually make a profit, run a solid a double digit margin and bring a profit to the bottom line. Most of you in this room are like me. You own your businesses or your executives in your business. <clears throat> you look at income statements. You look at uh, balance sheets. Unfortunately, almost on a daily basis, you look at cash flow. At the end of the day, the technical, technological innovation of your products is interesting, curious, cute. But at the end of the day, what matters is how much money you bring to the bottom line. You have to justify your bottom line to yourself, to your banks, to your business partners, or to your boss. And this is where we come in and help. You can sell and must sell hard drives and personal computers all day long. And you must sell them in volume because that's what people are calling you for. But if you do not add products that we sell, which is accessories and peripherals, you will most likely have a hard time being or creating a sustained profitability. So therefore, the 10 minutes that I have, I told my marketing director, just give me this one slide, I'm okay. The rest I might make it up on the fly because I'm passionate about this. We are like you are. We are passionate about running a business. We're passionate about building a profitable business. We know we cannot do this ourselves. We have to have you on our team. We have to work together. And there are, so she forced me into a few more slides, which I'll go through with you. Uh, first, we look at our two brands, which is Manhattan and IntelliNet. Uh, Manhattan is a brand of uh, computer accessory products and uh, computer peripheral products. Uh, I think most of you are familiar with it. We, our booth is M5. It's the first booth when you come into the hall to your right. We're here with six or seven people, so if you want to talk to us and don't have an appointment, we're available for you, you know, 24-7. Um, the other brand is IntelliNet. IntelliNet um, focuses on active and passive network products in the uh, Soho range. Um, here are some bullet points on why we believe it's a good idea to do business with us. Uh, I always refer to as what we have in order to satisfy our customer needs as a toolkit. Our toolkit has many, many tools in it. Uh, we consider ourselves like a handyman. If you call a handyman and say, I have a problem in my house, but don't tell the handyman what your exact problem is, he'll come out with a toolkit and then you'll tell him you maybe have a plumbing problem or you maybe have a... Have an, have a uh, uh, a carpeting problem, whatever it may be. He then opens his toolkit and takes out the exact right tool that he needs to fix your problem. We're a little bit like that. When we, when we speak with you, we understand how business works, how your business works, what, 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 get, what maybe makes your nights occasionally sleepless, and what maybe uh, bothers you uh, uh, in, in, your, uh, in different areas of your business. We do know what that means in general, but what exactly or exactly is your, your, your pain, we don't know. So we bring our entire toolkit and offer you a solution, hopefully offer you a solution to where it matters the most. This could be in the a range of payment terms. This could be in the range of inventory management. This could be in the range of uh, uh, training your salespeople. This could be in marketing. This could be in, a, in many different areas. We have listed just a few here. Um, for example, this, I like the third bullet point here. Uh, there are global shipping points for our products. When you work with, say, Lenovo, that's a given. You don't think about shipping points. But when you are in our industry, in the industry of computer accessories, accessories and peripherals, you usually have one centralized uh, shipping point. That's not the case with us. You can always choose whether you want to ship your product directly from our factories in China or where you, whether you want to buy from our European or US-centered uh, warehouses. What does that mean? That means that you can choose to have either the lowest price but must buy in volume, or you receive the exact same product the next day at a slightly higher price but with no minimum order quantity and better payment terms. Um, we uh, have a strong marketing team in place that's standing by to assist you and your marketing team. Some of us are 
you know, family-owned businesses, and we, we don't necessarily have the bandwidth uh, to create a strong and complete marketing team. We're, we are dependent on outsourcing uh, some of our marketing work. We are here to do that for you uh, and to do it on your behalf. Um, you see the other bullet points. I only have 10 minutes, and Ryan told me there's a time. Oh, there it is. Duh. Um, there's not a lot of time to go through all these bullet points, so I'm just going to move ahead and, and really focus on one specific, uh, one specific uh, um, reason where I think we can help you to optimize your profit. And which, of course, I'm not going to, I want to try to BS you as little as possible. They're not going to want to make you more profitable out of the goodness of our hearts. We're in the business of making money. The only thing is, I can only make money when you're money. If my stuff does, doesn't move off your shelf, if my stuff collects dust on your shelf, I have nothing to gain. You're not going to come back to me. You're not going to be loyal to me or to my brand. We therefore have a, we are therefore highly motivated to increase the, tr the turnover of product that gets into your inventory as much as we possibly can. And, in and within product management, we do this among other, uh, among other things by offering a very strong retail appearance. This is what we call the new Manhattan. Manhattan has, as a brand has been around for a while, but historically we have not had a retail presence. Historically, over the years, uh, probably 80, 85 percent of our revenue was generated uh, through independent resellers and system integrators. It is a relatively new push for us to get into retail. We have rebranded uh, the company. We have recreated our website. A brand new website came out last uh, uh, month. Uh, our packaging has been redone. Everything is in six languages. We're now uh, adding uh, uh, Arabian language, the Arabian language to all of our packaging, by the way. Um, Here's a, here's a, a very simple uh, uh, slide uh, schematic on how each of our product segments is, is sorted. We believe that each product segment has to consist of three levels. The lower level, what we call the volume level, are, the, are those items that run in significant volume, but at probably depressed margins. The margins are still better than they are in any hardware, or, uh, hardware product, historic hardware product. Uh, but they're lower than the average margin within our product line. But this is a product you must have. Usually within each, within each product segment, those are one or two SKUs. We'll very briefly look at a product segment in a minute or so. This is our Bluetooth uh, speaker family, and you will see what I mean. This is an item that you can sell in large volume in any market, but particularly in developing markets, where people may not have deep pockets, where people might be stretched to buy a computer and don't have one and have perhaps a lower cost tablet, but want better sound and know about Bluetooth technology, but don't want to spend $100 on a Bluetooth, uh, a Bluetooth speaker. That's the, that's the lowest entry. Or in developing markets where, for example, my teenage kids, uh, would not, I'm not going to buy them a very expensive Bluetooth speaker. These are lower in every product segment you will find one product that is a, it comes in at a very low price point from us where we encourage you to also sacrifice some of your margins in order to gain market share, in order to move volume. These are door opening items for many, uh, many areas where customers, either retailers or sub-distributors in your marketplaces uh, are looking to buy it at an attractive price. At the, at the uh, bottom of that stack, you have what we call the innovation level. So these within each product segment are one or two SKUs uh, where specifically the retailer uh, has a, we give the retailer a reason to open their doors for us and listen to our t story, listen to our pitch, if you will. These are products that you will not find anywhere else. No competitor may have them. They could be either specific in uh, performance or design uh, or, in, or appearance or in warranty or all of the above. And sandwiched between the innovation product and the low price product, you have the meat of, of each product segment with the highest number of SKUs. So typically, a sub-segment of our product line consists of, as you can see here, maybe 8 to 12 SKUs. What exactly those product segments are, we have four, 84 different product segments to offer, uh, over 800 items. Um, you can see them again uh, when you come to our booth M3. It's the first booth when you enter the hall on the right. We're there to talk to you about any of those items. Here's uh, very quickly, running out of time. Awesome, perfect. Uh, here's very quickly an example for what I was just speaking about, the Manhattan um, a Bluetooth uh, speaker line. At the uh, top, you see the Lyric Duo, which was also introduced yesterday at the 60 Seconds to Shine. Is that what you guys call it? Sorry? To impress? 
Convince, all right. So I hope we've shown and impressed you and convinced you. Uh, this is the only Bluetooth uh, stereo speaker in the market, as far as we know, that has z absolutely zero cables. That is not connected to anything. Typically, the, the stereo Bluetooth speakers are either connected to each other or one of them is connected to the device. There's zero connection here, which is the, makes it very innovative. And um, listen, guys, you don't, you, you, you hear a lot of stuff here, a lot of speakers, a lot of really deep stuff. Uh, half of which I cannot follow. I'm a simple guy. I'm here to make money. If you're here to make money, then let's work together. If you walk away from this with this one mes message and that sticks to you, and our, the name of our company, IC Intracom, and the name of our brands, Manhattan and Intellinet, then we, we took a big step forward. I want to thank you for being here this morning and to hope to talk to you in person real soon. Thank you. Michael, thank you very much.